Well, there's a number of um, de published definitions of dry eye, at, at least 10 of them. And they, ha they use a variety of different criteria, um, some of which are not very clinically practical. Uh, they may talk about um, signs and symptoms or, or the type of disease that's caused, but it doesn't, in most cases, doesn't really give clinicians um, you know, de definitions or, or criteria that they can use in the office. And also, uh, they're, they're not very uh, useful to regulatory agencies either, that, that, uh, especially in terms of billing and uh, determining indications for therapy. I think there's a real need for a clinically based definition of dry eye, something that um, doctors can easily use to, um, to identify patients with dry eye and also something that regulatory agencies uh, can, can easily uh, you know, evaluate and, and determine whether the patient meets those criteria for dry eye and, and, and for uh, therapy. Um, there are several excellent um, therapies. Some of them are, are imaging um, technologies, um, particularly uh, ways to image the tear film itself. Using OCT, we can um, actually measure the tear meniscus height, which is a measure of tear volume. There are also um, a number of excellent new uh, technologies to evaluate tear stability non-invasively. And, um, and there are even some new uh, technologies to evaluate tear composition itself. Um, and, and that's an evolving field, which I think will continue to grow. Yeah, there, there are a number of unmet needs, um, and, and it may depend on the, the type of dry eye. Um, in, in most types of dry eye, there is an underlying uh, inflammatory component. And right now, depending on uh, the part of the world that uh, doctors live in there, um, there are uh, some anti-inflammatory therapies that are approved for treatment of dry, but they have a, a, a relatively limited mechanism of action. So there's definitely a need for broader and safer uh, anti-inflammatory agency agents. There's also an, a need for uh, therapies that can improve tear stability, which is decreased in all types of dry eye. And, and also um, for protecting the cornea in the most severe type of dry eye, which can in, in some cases actually cause blindness.